हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक शॉर्टकट्स यू वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रैक द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स एंड फॉर स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन डेवलप टेन टाइम्स फास्टर स्पीड ऑफ कैलकुलेशन इफ यू वॉच ऑल दिस एंड प्रैक्टिस दीज थिंग्स क्यूब रूट्स is one of the topics which has troubled so many students because they know only one method of finding the cube roots that is prime factorization method which is taught in class 8 and unfortunately students who are appearing in placement exams they are also using the same method but what about numbers like 4930391951112 or for that matter the number 28 do you know the cube root of 28 i am sure One out of hundred will say yes. Do you know the cube root of one hundred and thirty-two? No, right? And that's where the problem is. Most of the YouTubers who are putting videos of cube roots, they are following only one short trick. And in this video, I am going to take up the complete short tricks of cube roots. Whether the number is a perfect cube or a non-perfect cube, you will be able to find the cube root of that particular number using a short trick. No factorization, no calculator, nothing required in the in the complete solution, and you will get your answer in decimals. Okay, so what's the complete video, friends? You are going to. Uh, learn something which has never been done on youtube before and this video is going to form a base and it is going to make you unique because only handful of the students will know these tricks of cube roots okay so i'll take up the numbers which are perfect cubes first and for perfect cubes the numbers can be as big as eight digit nine digit numbers you can use the short trick and find your answer but the actual fun starts from the second slide so don't miss out watch the complete video non perfect cubes are coming up after this slide and if you want a compilation of all these short tricks here's my whatsapp number 9896369963 you can send me a message on whatsapp but mind you you must be ready for investing little bit on your education how much uh, maybe at the cost of your dinner <laughs> pretty good right i think we all can afford that much so whatsapp this number if you are willing uh, to invest little bit and get all those quantitative aptitude and reasoning combo okay <laughs> right so how do you find the uh, cube root of numbers like 39304 a big number right five digit number there are some prerequisites you should know the cubes of numbers up to 10 at least for that matter i think uh, i go for number up to 15 but it's okay if you know up to 10 also 1 cube is 1 2 cube is 8 3 cube is 27 4 cube is 64 5 cube is 125 6 cube is 216 7 cube is 343 8 3 cube is 512 9 cube is 729 and 10 cube is obviously 1000 so if you know that much job done let's see how we can find the cube root of this number so cube root of the number 39304 it's a perfect cube i am taking examples of perfect cube first make triples take the triple from the right hand side and we are left with only two digits doesn't matter so the 304 this triple ends in 4 so i am just worried about the last digit here i need a single digit whose cube and sin 4 can you tell me that single digit very very easy right and the number is 4 itself because 4 cube is 64 which ends in 4 and so the answer of my uh, number here 39304 cube root is going to end in 4 right easy step right now consider this number 39 do you know 39 is greater than which numbers cube i want a number which lies very close to 39 it is below 39 and it, it is a perfect cube so do you know 3 cube 27 it lies very close to 39 and it is below 39 so i need this number 3 and so the answer for the question 39304 is 34 just check using the calculator 34 times 34 times 34 is it 39304 Then the perfect answer for cube root of this is thirty-four. 
Likewise, suppose you have the number, the cube root of, look at the number here, 1, 9, 5, 1, 1, 2. Make triples from the right hand side, so 112 and 195, right? Done. So 112 ends in 2. So I need some number whose cube ends in 2. Do you know that single digit number? It is 8. Why? Because 8 cube ends in 500, uh, ends in 2, that is 512 is the cube of 8. No other single digit cube will end in 2. Okay? So I need this number. So the cube root of this will end in what? 8. And now what is the other number, other digit here? For that I need to check 195. 195 is greater than which perfect cube? 5 cube is 125, 6 cube is 216 which is above this, right? So I have to stick to 5, 5 cube, correct? Because that is 125. So 5 comes here and now I got my cube root of 195112 as 58. Likewise, you can apply it for another 6 digit number, a big one here, the cube root of 493039. Let's make triple, triple. Okay, so the first step ending in 9, right? So I need some number cube that is a single digit whose cube ends in 9. Do you know that number? It's 9 itself because 9 cube is 729. So I need this digit and therefore my answer is going to end in 9. What about the other number? For that I have to take 493. And I have to check which perfect cube lies just below 493. For that, again single digit numbers. 6 cube is 216, right? 7 cube is 343, still below. 8 cube is 512. Oh, that exceeds 493. I don't want to go above 493. So 7 cube, 343, right? And therefore, this 7 forms the remaining part of my answer, giving me the cube root of 493039 as 79. Now you will find this on YouTube everywhere and everyone who is putting up videos on YouTube are doing only this method. But they get stuck when we have to find the cube root of non-perfect cube numbers and that's what is coming up now, the non-perfect cube numbers. Watch out friends, this is something exclusive for you. Let's see the cube root of 10. Now how do you find the cube root of 10? So there are some steps involved here to find the cube root of 10. I know that 10 is above 8, right? See, 2 cube, that is 8, lies close to 10, right? So I wanted this number, 2 cube, 8. Now, the number can be above the perfect cube. Here 10, 10 is above 8. Here 71 is very close to 64, uh, 4 cube, uh, 118 is below 125, see this number is below 125, so the number can be above a perfect cube or below a perfect cube, it has to be like that, right? So in this case it is above the perfect cube 8. Now this 2, I want this 2, okay? So what will I do? I will write 2 here. Because 10 is above 8, so my answer will be above 2 because 2 cube is 8, so 2 points something is going to be the answer for my question. So 2 plus something. You understood why I wrote plus here? Because this number is larger than 2 cube and therefore I write a plus. Next step. Next step is how much is 10 more than 8? It is 2 more than 8, right? And therefore, what will I do? I will write the 2 in the numerator divided by something. And that something is important. You have the number 3 which you have to put by default. This number is by default. So in every question, I will be putting a 3 in the denominator here. And then the number which I took up that is 2 
I will add, uh, sorry, multiply the square of this number here. Square of this number here. Now that's important. What to write where? This 2 is this number plus how much is the difference between these two? It is here. 3 is by default and then the square of this number is to be written here. Now calculate this. This will be 2 plus. So 1 of the 2's cancel out. This is 1 by 6 and uh, 1 by 6 will be 0 0.16. Right? Approximately 0 0.16. The greater number of digits you take here, the more accurate your answer will be. Okay? So I am taking only 0 0.16. So your answer for the question is 2.16. Now pick up the calculators and check 2.16 times 2.16 times 2.16 Is it giving you a correct answer here to this cube root of 10 and I am sure you are going to be surprised by the accuracy of the result. Let's extrapolate this method for cube root of 71. Now if you want to find cube root of 71, I told you you have to find a number which lies very close to this and is a perfect cube. So I think 4 cube is 64, right? That is very close to 71. So my answer is going to start with 4 plus. Now 71 is greater than 64. How much greater? So 71 minus 64, that is 7, right? So I will write 7 in the numerator, 3 in the denominator, that is by default, and 4 here, so 4 square here. Now, I have to do a small calculation here, the one which I have written here. So, this is 4 plus, so you can do 7 upon 48 and I have already done it for you so that I can save time. This is 0 0.14 and now add them, you get 4.14 as the approximate cube root of this number. Friends, this calculation is important. Whatever you get here, if you take more decimal places, you will get more accurate answer. Okay? So, let's try and let's have cube root of 118. Here we have cube root of 118. So, 5 cube is 125. Now, this is very close to 118. So, my answer starts with 5. Now, because my number is smaller than 125, I will write minus. That's the key point. Okay? The next step is how much is the difference between these numbers? The difference is 125 minus 118 that is 7 and 3 is by default and 5 square comes here. Now you can see how to generalize this step so that when you get that step right, I think everything will be correct after that. So this is 5 minus, I have done this calculation for you already, 7 upon 75. It is 0 0.093, 0 0.093 and when you subtract then you get 4.907 as the cube root of 118. Amazing right friends, so many uh, things are there in mathematics which we are yet to learn. I think what, even if you are a mathematics teacher. Uh, you just know maybe 0.5% of the entire mathematics knowledge which exists and that is why we are all learners. I, even I am a learner and I have been learning so many different tricks. <laughs> right, let's see two more questions. Cube root of 240. So, near to which number does this lie? 6 cube is 216, right? So, 6 because this number is greater, so plus, then how much is the difference? 24 divided by 3 times the square of this number 36. So 12 2 times and 12 3 times, so this is 2 by 9. So 6 plus 2 by 9 will be, uh, okay, I need to remove this. Yeah, 2 by 9 will be 0 0.2222. Okay, this continues. So your answer is 6.222, that is the approximate cube root of 240. Likewise, if I have to do cube root of 501, so I will just run through this. Uh, 8 cube is 512, 
so my answer is going to start with 8 and this is smaller so minus and then I will take the difference this is 11 and divided by 3 times the square of this which is 64 so 8 minus so I have to do 11 upon 192 which I have already done 0 0.057 0 0.057 and when I take the difference I get the answer 7.943 that is the cube root of 501 so friends you can practice maybe taking 20 30 such non perfect cube numbers and I am sure you are going to get an approximately correct answer for the cube root and this is something exclusive which you know uh, hardly you find anywhere on the internet or in books or even in the youtube videos so friends don't forget to share the fun with your friends you know this is really important if you don't share the links you know this knowledge will be restricted and uh, you know uh, after say 1000 people or 2000 people watching uh, the video will die out so we want to transmit these things uh, among uh, you know the masses so that they are more well equipped when they are facing any competitive exam so do subscribe for more such videos send me a message on whatsapp if you want the entire compilation of short tricks uh, in the form of pdf if you want to invest a little bit on your education uh, i hope you have clicked the bell shaped icon and you must be getting all the notifications of these uploads on the channel right if you have not done it please do it all the best for your practice of this amazing concept of finding the cube roots of non-perfect cube numbers all the best